DCR's Division of Water Supply Protection meets two goals in managing grassland and pollinator meadows. Let's look at how watershed protection and habitat management work hand in hand. There are several areas in the watershed of open grasslands and meadows where grasses mixed with wildflowers are allowed to grow for critical habitat for a variety of wildlife. Wachusett Reservoir's North Dyke is one area that offers wildlife viewing opportunities for species that depend on open lands. Dikes are dams made up of earth and stone to fortify the shoreline of the reservoir. DCR keeps the area clear of trees according to guidelines for dam safety and the grass at critical structural areas is mowed often while habitat areas are left alone to grow throughout the nesting season. These guidelines create large open areas that make grassland habitats. If you walk by quickly, it might look just like a patch of unmowed grass, but let's take some time to get a closer look at this grassland ecosystem. Looking for birds in grasslands can be rewarding if you know what to look for. Birds can be easily recognized by size, marking, songs, and when flying in full view up above the grass. This male bobolink has a distinctive black body with white patch on back and rump and a straw colored patch on the back of his head. The female is above color with dark brown streaks on the back, a dark eye line, and brown stripes on the crown with a pink bill. To find a bobolink like this one, scan the field looking for hovering in a low flight over the top of the grass. Listen for a long burbling song ending with sharp metallic notes. Tree swallows put on quite a show. Watch them fly over open water or grass with acrobatic dips and swoops as they catch insects mid-flight and listen for their sweet chirping calls. You may also find red-winged blackbirds. They can be located by listening for the Oakley song. Red-winged blackbirds benefit from the increased amount of food in taller grass. Like the bobolink, the female is more camouflage for nesting in the grass. The eastern meadowlark is a colorful relative of the blackbird family that eats mostly insects, seeds, and fruits. Their nest is made of woven plants hidden in the tall grass. Listen for flute-like songs and look for the bright yellow-breasted males showing off black v-necks from posts or taller plants. They'll show a flash of white tail feathers when they fly up from the grass. The managed fields also provide habitat to small mammals such as meadow voles and jumping mice, which are an important food source for many birds of prey, such as the American kestrel. This small falcon, also known as a sparrow hawk, hunts over grassy areas. Listen for the shrill call to be alerted to when they're near. Once you hear the call, look to fence posts or up on the tree line that they perch on before swooping down to hunt and capture small prey. If there are no perches, you may see them hover high in the sky facing into the wind, flapping their long tails to stay in place as they look down and search for food using their bird's eye view. American kestrels eat mostly insects and other invertebrates, as well as small rodents and birds. They are cavity nesters and they'll use holes in trees or nest boxes. They'll lay about four to five eggs per clutch. Let's take a peek. You can see evidence of one of the insect meals brought to these chicks. You can find the dragonfly wings on the nest floor. Prey mammals that thrive in grasslands also attract other predators that visit the area, such as the red fox. Coyotes are another predator 
that help to control burrowing animals and woodchucks. Look to the edges of open fields that provide forage for white-tailed deer. The oversized ears alert them to any danger, and the white tail can flash a warning. When they graze, they can quickly eat up a large amount of plants, and then they move to a safe place in the trees to lie down to digest. The wildflowers and grasses in these areas are growing wild to provide vital food and shelter to pollinators. The abundance of wildflowers support all stages of the life cycle of the monarch butterfly, tiger swallowtails, and other pollinators. This grassland management demonstrates how watershed lands can provide critical habitat for important species and wildlife striking a balance between the protection of drinking water quality while helping a range of species fulfills DCR's mission to preserve, protect, and enhance these vital resources. Wachusett Reservoir is an unfiltered source of high quality water. Recreational activities are regulated and limited to protect three million people's drinking water when visiting watershed lands, please pay attention to signs. Passive recreation is allowed, while dogs, domestic animals, and any activity that could pollute the water supply is prohibited. To visit safely and responsibly during COVID-19, maintain social distance, or wear a mask, be aware there are no public restrooms, so plan accordingly and bring your own water and hand sanitizer. Please carry out what you carry in and keep your hikes, Simple, easy, and safe.